so we got a taco. It's a taco or what? Yeah, it's probably a taco. Uh, there's something wrong with it. So let me just try to turn it on. It's a Cody. Check engine light on. Yeah, it feels kind of shaky. Let me just put it under under the shade. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is see if there's any codes in the computer and the truck. So all you gotta do is. Uh, Let's see. Oh, right here. Plug this in. Right here. And then just open the switch like that. And then we'll see what code is, is giving us. Okay, so it has, it has two codes, 307, cylinder 7 misfire detected. Let's see, and then what else? 307, it's the same code, PO307, uh, cylinder misfire detected, okay? So we want to check which one is the 7 cylinder, alright? Okay, keep in touch. Oh, let, I'm gonna race this right now, so when we do it, it's not gonna do it again. Well, I'm gonna just leave it like that. Okay, guys, station touch. I'm gonna go ahead and open the hood. Open the hood. So I guess I'm gonna have to check what's the uh, cylinder seven on this truck I'm gonna google it see was it a fire um, um, the fire number lines okay so this is a fire and o-ring uh, Orange and Tahoe 2004 so we have a cylinder seven is misfiring so that means it's this one right here okay it's this one right here if you're looking at the front vehicle, like uh, right here, so that means it's that one, that one over there, the very last one. Yeah, that's the number seven. So we're gonna disconnect uh, the. Uh, we wanna change the spark plug. We're gonna look at it and we're gonna test. Uh, we're gonna see if the uh, the uh, how do you call that? The cable right here. Uh, they're probably gonna be the, uh, the problem okay so that's number seven right there number seven very last one looking at the front motor okay I mean engine okay so we're gonna change the um, take the uh, wire first from the spark plug in the coil it looks good to me uh, yeah, see, it looks good to me. Uh, I don't see any crack. You always look for a crack or, uh, you know, if it's broken. But uh, that thing, uh, that's the, this is the call right here. You need to disconnect the the, uh, the connection, electrical connection from here. Just, just kind of careful because it's very fragile, those little things. There's a clip behind that. I just noticed uh, it's a little clip right there in the back. Yeah right there and it just pops a little bit and goes pops out all right and uh, and there's only two screws to take it off um, once you get it done we don't know you can test it if you switch them from the other one but I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it you know I'm just gonna I don't wanna just waste more time this is not uh, I don't have a time for more so I'm just gonna just replace the spark plug and the uh, Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. This is this, this last screw is not is not the one I want to take it off. I just 
I got a phone call and then I just took it up by accident. Okay, so here's the one on top. So there's only two screws, the one on top and one on the bottom. Um, I, um, there's only two on, see? So you can you cannot really tell if it's damaged or not the coil, but uh, you can just go ahead and replace it like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, something like that. And then I'm taking the spark plug off just to check it out as well. As well. Uh, which is a, uh, it's not too bad, it's a tap but they got to, to play around with it. And, uh, that's it. And after this, we're gonna check see how the sparkler looks like. But, uh, to me, it's like uh, it's a. Uh, Let me show you do it when it's very cold. Cause I'm now I'm doing it. It's hot. The coil. And this is not my truck. It's my. There you go. See. Like I said, yeah. See how dirty it is. Right there. So. Okay, so I got the three. So, basically, we got this. Okay, so one of these is a problem. Look at the spark plug, it's bad, very bad. So, I I assume that it's gonna be the spark plug. Look how bad is that? See? And it's very hot. Yep, too bad. So this one looks okay to me. Just do inspection it any cracks or anything else. So this one I don't know. Uh, I think it's a spark plug, right? So as you, I'm just gonna change this one and just this one just to be safe. But I think this one is good. You can always try it, like switch them to the other one and see if that was the problem, okay? You can do that too. All right. We'll see you in a little bit. I'm gonna go get my and buy him a uh, probably Howdison or. Uh, uh, Autoson or uh, oh, it's the AC Delco. That's the original spark glass for for 2004 Chevrolet. All right, stay with me. Okay, so we got that's it. The old one, right? That's the old one. This is the new one. New spark plug and new coil. So that should be work. Uh, I'm just gonna use the same uh, wire because it looks good to me. So, right, let's 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 do it. Okay, so we are gonna do this. So I got the spark plug with a hose like this. So it's better to install it like this way. Okay, you know. To, okay, so you just pull this hose out the hose you know when you use it to until you tighten it up next is this
just plug it, plug the thing. And make sure it clicks, makes the click, and then this one to this side to the spark plug, okay? So let's go back. Oh, I mean, is this like this way or what? Sure, push all the way in. There you go. Okay. All right. So I think that's it for so far right now. Okay. After you install the new spark plug, you you gotta clear clear the. Uh, the uh, the coats because otherwise they're gonna still on. So you gotta do you see uh, disconnect the battery for a couple minutes, or you can uh, do it with the scanner if you have a scanner. Like me, I'm just gonna clear out the coats. Okay. All right. Now you wanna have no more check engine light. You can drive it, you know, like few miles, like 60 miles, and see if the uh, code is gonna back uh, back again to the truck. But it won't happen because it will fix the problem. Ahí right, está. There you go. Thank you for watching. All right. That's we fixed the code was 307 something like that yeah so right just uh, questions let me know you know I'm not professional I just do my own stuff my own shit <laughs> all right man take it easy